Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Apparently the Emperor's trying to murder somebody? Who's he trying to kill? I don't even remember who this guy is. I think he tried to fuck one of Redigan's wives. He's like, oh, hello, sexy wife of the dry vagina. And she's like, oh, hello, limp dicky McEmperor. Oh yeah, I'm the limpiest. Wait, that's not good. Uh, he's had a lot of his kids die, unfortunately. Five of them. This is the current heir apparent Prince Phil the Fat Face. I mean, Seducer. Oh, uh, he's got lover's pox. Look at all the kids he's got! Holy shit, ball McGee's. Uh, his eldest son is diligent, charitable, and envious. His youngest son, Ayakim, has no good traits. Oh my god. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to be the heir apparent. Oh, shit. And his stewardship is only three. This guy was supposed to be the new emperor. Zeke. He had all these traits and he died. F fucking pneumonia. Uh, we're currently fighting a war against the Holy Roman Empire and their allies, France and Sweden. In the last episode, though, I didn't see it. These two little territories. Territories here. If I look at religion. Oh, wait. They're converting quickly. Well, those used to be an independent country, and one of my vassals took it over to try and unite Ireland. I like that. I like that kind of, you know, moxie. I don't care about whatever siege post, trade post, just dropped. We're about to occupy the town of Offenburg. We're doing pretty well in the war. Sweet! We are at 90% war score already. How many troops has he got? He's got less than 2,000. His allies have some, though. Look at that, we haven't lost a single battle yet. The only things we've had sieged on us are little trade posts near the water that I don't give a crap about. And we'll get those back, I assume. A big thing, look at how much that dropped. Their morale, this is in the city right here of Pforzenheim. I'm really good at German words, as you can tell. Um, is 60.5% morale, now it just dropped. It's dropping 7.9% every 12 days, meaning we are kicking the crap out of the morale. We're like, you smell like farts! Really? Stinky farts! Oh man, my morale's going down. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch the monitor. Every fucking... How do these people get... In, a, in an audience with the Emperor? This lady is in jail, and she's like, I don't want to be in jail! Who is the idiot bringing these to the Emperor to be like, My prisoner wants... This prisoner wants to talk to you, liege. Sir? Like, you're the liege. I'm the liege. I'm confused. You are getting old, honey. He's 58, and I am scared he's gonna die off any day now. Because this emperor is, or this empire. Uh, the Fratelli heresy has appeared in the province of Cavillan. Calvin. I'm not worried about that. The reason I'm not worried about that, our moral, moral authority is 100. We'll get rid of that eventually. Any heresy that comes into our territory. But what I was trying to say is this giant, get the fuck out of here with messages. That's what I was trying to say. This giant empire is on the verge of fracturing if Radigan dies. And we don't have some money saved up for the next kid to, you know, grease the wheels of politics, so to speak. Because they don't have an option for him to give people blowjobs to keep them happy. Well, maybe that's to take someone as a concubine option. I'm not sure. Come on, I want to take this damn city. I'm going to get this up to 100%. Who are these? Oh, th that army there is Lords of the Sky. I wonder what they were doing. What war were you guys fighting? Defending against Shah Barad of Samanita shot him in the Samanid Holy War for Kongai. Where the hell is Kongai? Oh, it's way out here. Must be the Sunnis fighting a Holy War. Well, nobody asked us to go help out. I don't care about those trade posts. 100%! We'll just bask in the glory. Okay, so, once again, we have defeated the combined forces of Sweden. Look, Sweden is already having rebellions. Every time, King of Sweden, you a dumbass. Your family are dumbasses. Like, I would love to go see Sweden in real life, but in this game, you a bunch of dumbasses. Holy Roman Empire. His wife is like, I told you not to go help him. Oh, uh, I told you. Didn't I? Oh, yeah, I know I did. We defeated France, the French army again. Before we take our war claims, I look at culture. 
just out of curiosity. So if we look at culture, this color here that I'm on right now, this is Bulgarian. Look at how big the Bulgarian culture is. How much has expanded. All these people that now consider themselves Bulgarian. That's going to be the biggest culture out there. Bedouin is pretty big too, but I think we're bigger than Bedouin. It might be close. No, I think we're bigger. It's pretty damn cool, considering we just started with a little area over here in, well, Bulgaria. Like the people who visit my Bulgaria. All right, we're going to try to take Baden. Oh, look, he got old. I've been taking my land. Let us end the war. We will enforce our demands and take Baden. Emperor riding in the Sword of Tangri has usurped some city, um, some barony, the temple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get to the good part. Barony, county of Baden from this guy, King Theodorich the Wise of Germany. So can we usurp the crown of Germany now? Oh, we can't? Oh, that fucking shit, Berg. So he took control of this county here. So we just fought that whole war to try and take the crown from him. He's like, I'll just take this territory in my land. Well, fuck you. Oh, well. We got another territory. We will give it to somebody. In fact, I'm going to give it to this guy. Does he like us? He's about to. We will grant you... Um, Baden and any of the lower titles because I don't want to deal with it. Boom. He loves us. We give him a bunch of stuff. He should love us for that. Well, that war did not go as well as I wanted, totally. But the nice thing is... Wait, why the hell are these armies still mad at us? Why can we still fight the Holy Roman Empire? I would say the nice thing is we did win. We took another territory. We'll tell our, tell our Holy Warriors to go home. I honestly don't get why that army is red. We're not at war with them. The other thing I've noticed is... Oh, for a moment there, Italy was having some rebellions. They must have put them down. Because you can see all kinds of fraticelli lined areas everywhere. Alright, we're going to take our retinue. Look at that. Almost 18,000 strong. We're going to merge them as soon as the stupid autosave is done. Which isn't stupid. I wish I would have just done, declared Holy Wars for... I mean, I guess that worked out. I wish I would have declared a Holy War for the whole duchy there. Because my plan did not work exactly as planned. After a hundred years under the Empire of Carpathia, the Kingdom of Bulgaria is no longer considered a de jure part of the Byzantine Empire. That is excellent! Um, can we see a before and after? No. So if we look at the, the de jure, the natural area of what should be Bulgaria... This is right here. This was all originally a part of the Byzantine Empire. Now, we're looking at de jure, not what we actually own, because we own more than this. It is now a part of the de jure part of the Carpathian Empire. It's getting huge. Look at that. So this is all stuff we have a natural claim on, because we have held it for 100 years, or we owned it... Well, yeah, because we've held it for 100 years, basically. That in the little area that was the original Empire of Carpathia. Not bad news, I must say. Uh, we will merge these guys. And then we're going to want to split them into at least two groups. And then we're going to set them back towards the capital, I guess. I really don't know what to have them do. But we definitely... This is the time of the game where we need to focus on... Emperor Reddick is 59. We need to focus on building our armies... So that when the transition happens for the next Emperor, we're not fucked. We can build the retinue bigger, but we don't have the money for it. And we're spending a lot of money as it is, building the retinue up to its current maximum. Um, yeah, we're going to send these retinues different way, ways, because... I don't want them to get stuck in the same territory and suffer from big attrition. Because they are pretty size, fair sized armies. Our levies have been raised too long. Let's see how we're doing with our vassals. Are we popular? Radigan is very popular. One guy hates him. Everybody else likes him. Can we change any laws? 
Oh, no. I want to change the inheritance, but we can't because vassals are fighting each other. So we will never be able to change the inheritance laws while Radigan is around. Still not sure why the Holy Roman Empire has red there that we could just go attack his troops, but... Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about that. That's not our problem. Uh, somebody usurp something? Nobody cares. I'm sure that guy cares a lot. He's like, someday I'll be an emperor too. Maybe if you keep working at it, kid. I love to this little French territory. If you remember many episodes ago, the Holy Roman Empire was trying to take that from France, and it failed. In fact, that was one of the impetuses for us to take all this... Uh oh, that's not good news seeing all these armies. The King of Poland is attacking the Shah Barad in the Polish Holy War for Kashgar? What? Where the hell is that? That doesn't sound like it's around here. Which one? There's all of these Kashgars. Interesting. Is the King of Poland going to go over there and make our empire bigger? Is that for somebody else? Here, let's click on here. Yeah, the King of Poland is! Go King of Poland! Hopefully that doesn't hurt us in the long run. He's going to go attack them. Chief Somoner of Karuvna. Where are you from, bro? Can we move this a little bit? Alright, you're from... Oh, right next to our home territories. These are our home territories right here. It's provided me with proof that High Chief Presja of Karvuna. Wait. Wait. High Chief Somoner of Karvuna. And the other. You're both from the same area. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not deal with your petty bullshit. How are your um, concubines doing? Oh! All of them died but one. This one survived. And she's got the Lover's Pox. A 64. Tell me she got lover's pox before. At 64, she's like, fuck it. I'm going to fuck who I want. I'm attractive. Oh, no, she's quick. The attractive ones died, apparently. <laughs> uh, I guess beauty was fleeting. How are we doing financially? All right, that's going down. That was like 140 we were spending regularly. Now 120 for retinue. Got to get these retinues built up all the way. We've got to give our son something well to do. My liege, I, pl I implore you to send me to another province. The Nifwits of Sophia have already cost me an arm. I don't want to lose any more limbs just because they don't know the back from the front of an arrow. So our marshal... Wait, you were supposed to... You weren't training. You are supposed to be researching tech. Apparently he researched the arrow at the wrong end. He got maimed. That's all right. I don't care. What are you bitching about, marshal? You got another arm? There he is, maimed. It's okay, bro. You're not leading an army. No one cares. Our granddaughter needs to be educated. The Lullard Heresy has appeared in Satakunta. Don't care. I just... I, I don't care. I'm sorry. Maybe I should care. I don't care. Wait. You go there. And then we'll take this army, actually. We'll split it in half. We'll put one half in Sophia. We have a new heir! Did Radigan die? No! Well, maybe it's a good thing. Our son, Prince Phil, who was the heir apparent, he died. Uh, you have a new heir. If your character dies, you'll play as Ayakim. Oh my god, all the kids are dying. Radigan is outliving most of his kids. He's outlived six of his kids. He only has two male heirs left that are sons. This would be the new heir apparent. Dexter. Ooh, Dexter would be better than the other guy. Dexter is proud, greedy, brave, content, kind, child of a concubine. He's got a much better stewardship. What's his wife like? His wife has got the lover's pox. But she's attractive. Did any of their kids get attractive? No, their eldest son is humble. Craven, gregarious and content, deceitful, and his brother is just, honest, and charitable. At this rate, all his sons will die before Radigan does. 
These kids just aren't as durable as him. See, how's that war going on in the east? I know we can't really see it proper, but let's see what the war score is. Zero percent. My f or wait, the friend of a friend is my friend. A motto I try to live by. Sometimes that's an easy truth. A friend of a friend was introduced, and I immediately felt a connection with a stranger. So apparently King Slavic the Careless of Kiva, once again, Kiva is this big old kingdom right down here, has introduced us to the shaman here, I guess? Yeah, sure, I hope we'll all be friends. Good times. A traveling poet who comes himself a bard arrives today. Well, he can stay as long as he wants. Tell me some stories, friend. Make sure you make a, a charisma roll. I found out that High Chief Slavic had introduced the bard to the court, and I told him how much I appreciated that. Finally, someone who can th sing. Thank you! Hopefully they're not like spies or anybody. They can send spies like that to murder us, can they? Just like, I like his singing. He sings songs about booties that just don't quit. Yours quit about 20 years ago. Ha <laughs> ha! You're a real dick. Would you like my dick? Sorry, limpy dick. Oh no, burned! Oh no! Emperor Redigan was hanging out with the King of Kiva. He's like, I don't know when I started disliking the King of Kiva, King Slavic II, but it must have been when he disagreed with me about how peasants should be treated. The more we talked, the less I liked King Slavic. And I've had enough, enough, enough. We would never be friends. Only rivals! Oh god, that's bad. It's one thing to not get along. It's not a good thing to have rival rivalry with your Biggest vassal. Your strongest vassal has become your rival. Why would you do that? Um, Lollard Heresy. Oh my god. Maybe we've made the pagan, not the pagans, the uh, Catholic Heresies too strong? <laughs> they shouldn't last in our area. They're probably just coming into Catholic territories until we convert them to Tangri. I love these lines. We're looking at the religion view again. Man. Catholic faith is really falling apart. Emperor! Not Emperor. Oh, I don't want to say that wrong. King of Poland, where is your army? Is that your army? I thought you had a different banner. That might be the army, though. I think that's his army. Yeah, there's the Polish army. These got to be the rest of his guys and his allies coming across. Yeah, go ahead. How many troops has this guy got? 12,000? Well, good luck, King of Poland. The only way you're going to win is if you get some allies. We can educate this kid. I don't know who you are. Who are you? Oh, a grandson. Who's your dad? Maybe it would help if I clicked on the family thing. Your dad is... Who's that? Oh, you're one of our daughter's kids. That's cool. You're never going to inherit. Sorry. Uh, we will merge these guys. And then I think we might split them in two. And there. Now we'll have an army on each of our four home territories here. We do own uh, Andronopolis, Thrake, and Constantinople. But these are like our old four. Of course, Sophia we've had since the beginning. It's been ages since we've been able to approve anything in these. It's because we've had no money from all the wars. I think it's been worth it, though. Because we kicked the crap out of the Holy Roman Empire... We kicked the crap out of France. We took most of Ireland. We basically have set the stage for the Catholic faith to just disappear. Which would mean, hopefully, no more crusades against us. Man, that Pope must really hate us. We took Rome. We have destroyed his faith in most of the world. Well, at least, you know, Europe. Oh, come on. We gotta get this rebuilt a little quicker. Guess we'll speed things up. I'm scared about the Emperor dying. That's why we're having money problems. Is We're not even near the top yet of our retinue possibility. But we still... You can see here, like, we have up to a thousand of these horses, and we have only 864.4. I don't know how you ride point four of a horse. It's gotta be awkward. Yeah, I just ride the ass. You are an ass! Oh, no. Hurtful things. We gotta get a bunch more archers. Our archers took it hard. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Not bad. You know, we won a war. We're growing. 
somebody is fighting somebody over here. Defending High Chief Slot Tomislav of Chernigov in his war to revoke Lou Bitch. Oh, you all a bunch of bitches. I guess there's some inner civil wars within our own country. And hopefully our the King of Poland wins his war out there. Oh, he's got a big old army there now. Well, maybe next time if I remember, and hopefully I do, we'll keep an eye on that. I like the idea of vassals who increase the size of the empire. We can't even get the whole empire on it now if we zoom all the way out. Because there's Ireland, there's more. We're too big. Too big. You were never too big before. Oh, no! I'll see you all next time.